Welcome to The Word. I'm your host, Max Dutton. During this bi-weekly news show, we will fill you in on anything you need to know involving Baker. From sports coverage to feature stories and even the weather, The Word is here to keep you in the loop. The Heart of America Athletic Conference COVID-19 Task Force announced the standards regarding spectator protocols for each school. As of September 2nd, each member institution is limited to a maximum of 50% capacity at each home venue, with no visiting fans permitted through the end of September. The Baker Athletic Department decided to opt for stricter standards by not allowing any spectators in the month of September. Although fans will not be able to cheer on the student-athletes this fall, Baker has invested in new streaming capabilities with blue frame technology that will allow all home events to be viewed via live stream. To view these events, visit hardconferencenetwork.com. Now let's chat with Dr. Cassie Bailey to get an inside look on how COVID-19 is affecting Baker University. So I have, I have used that analogy or that metaphor of building the plane while flying it. So I would want to give credit to my colleagues, um, to the university of doing a pretty good job. Um, also knowing that if we were to do this, God forbid, again, like we would do things differently. Like we have learned from mistakes that we've made. And we've also learned from, from successes that I think we would repeat again. So overall, I think we're doing a, a great job given the circumstances. As far as comparatively to other universities, um, I think universities that have more money have been able to offer more testing or other instruments. I also think that some universities pass that cost on to students. Um, that's something that the our university could have done. But after looking at the data, um, we understood that testing is a snapshot, right? Um, we didn't want it to cost our students. We didn't want it to be prohibitive in any way for a student to be tested. And so that's why we did the snapshot, or excuse me, the gateway testing. Um, I have been more than impressed with the ability of our students as 18 to 21 year olds to rise to that occasion. I think that's asking a lot of people and to do it not just for yourself, but to do it for others. And that's really what we're asking. Um, so I think this will have a very positive impact. Um, from a financial standpoint or a business model, that I wish I, I knew more, I don't. Um, I, I think it would be different for us, Max, if we weren't the, you know, we're not the only ones, right? Um, if Baker was the only one experiencing this, it might be different. The Baker Theater Department has been working on three 10-minute comedic plays that they will perform on September 24th through 27th outside of the Harder Union. The theme of the plays will be Together While Apart, based around people's experiences with the COVID-19 pandemic. For more information regarding the performances, you can contact Assistant Director of Theater, Emily Kasperzak. Now let's see what Brendan is up to with his new segment, Brendan on the Block. Hi, I'm Brendan, and you're watching Brendan on the Block, the segment where we ask you what you think about the latest news. How do you feel about the way that the university handled the COVID-19? Um, I thought they handled it pretty well. Um, a lot of other colleges, they all got sent home, and not a lot of people got sent home from Baker. So I think they handled it pretty nicely. Um, I feel like they're doing a pretty good job, like, um, you know, quarantine everybody if they're kind of exposed. So for the most part, pretty good. Yeah, just what he said, I don't really have a problem with what they've been doing. Pretty good so far. Uh, I feel like they're handling it well. We're divided and wearing masks, so I think that's good. Uh, I think it actually helps because, I mean, not really because people still got COVID and nobody really listens to the rules, so... I think they need to enforce some more. It's really upsetting, but we got to do what we got to do to get rid of the virus. So, How do you feel about um, the university's policy on spectator sports? Um, I mean, I understand where they're coming from, but it's kind of sad that like we don't get to like go and watch. So hopefully they uh, release that and like or ease up on it so we can like, go. But I don't know. It makes sense to me because that's just a good way to spread COVID-19. But so yeah, it didn't really bother me. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to see some games, but I kind of understand why they're doing it, you know, to protect us. But. Um, probably good not to have spectators at sports. Too many of a crowd. How do you feel about having classes on Labor Day? It's messed up. Some messed up stuff. Honestly, as long as we get to make it up, I don't really care. Oh, that sucks, man. I wanted to sleep in this morning. 
Um, I skipped them anyway, so I guess I don't have an opinion about that either. Uh, I feel like we should have it off, but at the same time, the longer break after Thanksgiving will be nice. Well, most of my classes got canceled today, so it wasn't a big deal for me. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Um, I definitely wanted to like go out and kind of do stuff for today and not have to log on to class, but also at the same time, we're getting like a dummy long uh, winter break. So yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I was kind of disappointed with not getting a three-day weekend with my family, but uh, it'll work out in the end and I'm not too upset about it. Thanks, Brendan. <laughs> After a delayed start to the fall sports season, your Baker Wildcats will open up the action on Tuesday, September 15th when the volleyball team plays at Evangel University. The following day, the women's and men's soccer teams travel to Parkville, Missouri to take on Parkville University. And the men's and women's cross-country season starts on September 18th when they host a triangular meet at the Baldwin City Golf Course. Now let's go to Brendan with the weather. Hi, you're watching The Word Weather with Brendan Hola, the only source of weather in Baldwin City, Kansas. Today it will be 64 degrees with a 69% chance of rain, so grab those umbrellas. Tomorrow, we're looking at 67 degrees and cloudy. And Friday through Wednesday, we've got uh, highs in the mid-70s. It's going to be beautiful, sunny. Uh, it's going to be a great week. Back to you, Max. Thanks, Brendan. Make sure to grab your coats this week. Thanks for joining us on the inaugural episode of Wildcat Word. Remember to keep up to date with all things Baker Orange by following us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at Baker Orange. While you're at it, you can also follow the Twitter page for our show at BU underscore the word. We'll see you in two weeks.